TFC is looking great on the pitch, um, John, and you had a chance to sit down with Greg Vanny on the occasion of his third anniversary of taking over the team, and I talked about what Zambrano has done uh, for, you know, Team Canada. There's no doubt that Greg Vanny has done a lot to get TFC into its very lofty position right now. Oh, absolutely. I think he's done, uh, you know, along with Tim Bezbachenko, they've kind of been the architects of this rebuild, and they've brought in, you know, the right pieces, and not just designated players. Obviously, guys like Michael Bradley and Josie Alfador and Sebastian Juvenko are key, but they've really kind of gone out and they've unearthed, you know, gem players who, you know, were kind of flying under the radar, like Victor Vasquez, who I think has been one of the best newcomers in the league this year, and, and young prospects like Marky Delgado. So I think that's been key, and I think just generally what Greg has done is brought a sense of calm and stability to the to the franchise. I mean, you know, the team went through so many coaches through you know the first eight or nine years, and you know he's the first coach to to um, sign a second contract to, to get a new deal. And I think just the way he manages the team, both on and off the field, he has a very kind of calming and, and stabilizing presence about him. And I think that's been. I mean, you know, a major reason why TFC has been able to undergo this uh, cultural shift, you know, from what was, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest, the laughingstock of the franchise to now whether the model franchise within MLS. Well, model franchise indeed, and let's talk about their positioning because, you know, John, throughout the course of the year, we visited several times on various Sportsnet uh, Today or Tonight shows, and, you know, TFC looked at every, at every while there was a bit of a push, whether it was uh, New York City Football Club, whether it was Chicago moving up in the standings, but as we get deeper into the season, TFC has answered every challenge to the throne, so to speak, now sitting with a nine-point lead. New York City FC was still with a game in hand, but really not in jeopardy. Everything's still in their own hand. At home, uh, 10 wins and three draws, so you can't get better than that in a 13-game stretch. Dare I say that the expectations are now so high that anything less than a championship is going to be considered a disappointment? I think that's true. Um, I, you know, and this isn't to take away anything away from the regular season that they're having because it has been fantastic, and it's, I am, they're certainly on pace to have the greatest uh, MLS regular season in, in league history, and you know, no one should take that away from them, and it's, uh, you know, that should be duly recognized. But I think you're quite right. There is a sense that, you know, unless this leads to an MLS championship, that you know, it's going to be seen somewhat as a disappointment. I, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily believe that. I do think, regardless of what happens, this will always be seen as a successful season. But, you know, I think there is a sense of, I think there will be a sense of disappointment if they don't lift it, just because, you know, they're, they're by and large, you know, by and by quite some distance, the best team in Major League Soccer right now. They have it in their hands, just the way they're playing right now. They're so good than the rest of the chasing field that anything less than hoisting the trophy is going to be a bit of a disappointment. But uh, the way they're playing right now, I mean. Yeah, they can certainly do it. As I said, it's in their hands. 